Hey guys, welcome to another episode of Smash JT. We gotta talk about the Game Awards. I made a couple videos about Jeff Keighley and the direction of the Game Awards, why I felt like it was not really that important in the grand scheme of things, but how they had a chance to really turn some heads and make this something spectacular. At the end of the day, it wasn't bad, it wasn't great, it was an awards show. So going into this, I knew it was going to be an awards show because it's the Game Awards. That's what they do. But they also tease world premieres or worldwide reveals of games. And that really got your mind spinning. Like, what could this possibly be? A lot of people thought it was going to be Metroid, a Metroid Prime trailer. You know, Metroid Prime 4 is finally going to be shown off, and here's the stage for the world to see it. Nowhere to be found. Other people were hoping for a Metroid Prime Trilogy to be announced on the Nintendo Switch. Again, nowhere to be found. Looking back at the situation, obviously it probably wasn't the best stage for Nintendo to showcase those things for a couple of reasons. One. They'd probably rather do it to their own audience on a Nintendo Direct where they can really have all the attention focused on them instead of trying to compete for attention on a national stage. They can just do the Nintendo Direct on the day that they choose and have all these things shown off to everybody at that point. And two... Couple of reasons why I could see Nintendo kind of shying away from doing it on the grand stage that was the Game Awards. That being said, the games that were shown, not necessarily spectacular, that really blew my mind. There was one game that had potential, but then they said it was going to be multiplayer, and then they said it was going to be free to play, and then I was like, ah, I don't even care what this game is called anymore because clearly they're just trying to squeeze money out of consumers. The whole point of making that game was to try to make as much money as possible instead of trying to make a game for fun. And I will forever say that about any game that goes straight free to play. You want to make as much money as possible. On a game that was roguelike and 2D sprite art, it looked fun, but again, not that interested after I saw it was going to be free to play. The one big reveal was with Persona crossing over with the Smash Brothers universe and having Joker be a playable character as one of the five downloadable in the pack that will be coming down the road. This was super exciting and the perfect type of reveal for the awards show because it doesn't really overshadow the awards. It's not a gargantuan game or something that nobody saw coming. It was, oh cool. A huge crossover that nobody expected. That's a fun little tidbit to add on to an award show. So that made sense being in there. The moment of the entire night came at the very beginning of the show and that was a little bit disappointing because it was kind of downhill from there. But I gotta recognize it for what it was. Jeff Keighley talking to Reggie on stage, basically admitting that he put this together. From Nintendo, Reggie fils -Aimé. From PlayStation, Sean Layden. And from Xbox, Phil Spencer. Lightning and the thunder. Reggie fils and Phil Spencer and Sean Layton all together sharing the stage, sharing a script, talking to gamers was epic. It was one of the most amazing feelings as a gamer I have had in a very long time. And it's weird because it had nothing to do with a video game. It had everything to do with seeing that these gigantic video game titans actually talk to each other, actually can get along. It didn't look awkward. They truly feel like they have a natural enjoyment for each other and what they bring to the table. And that was an important moment in video game history. And I want to make sure people remember how big of a deal this actually is going forward because it shows that the gamers are the most important focus for all of these companies. And gamers will fight all day long and bitch and moan in the comments section of YouTube videos and everywhere on Reddit. But at the end of the day, we're all in this for the same reason. We're gamers and we love to play video games. And that moment right there, I don't want to go overboard, 
but it was kind of iconic. Outside of that, unfortunately, the Game Awards were exactly what I was expecting out of them. They were kind of boring. And it was good to see God of War win Game of the Year over Red Dead Redemption 2. If for nothing else, I was worried they'd go with the popular choice, the better selling or the bigger marketed. God of War, while obviously being AAA and huge and having a big marketing budget and selling a ton of games as well, I kind of felt like the timing of Red Dead Redemption was perfect because it just recently came out, it's hot and fresh in everyone's mind, and I thought all these writers and publishers would have been saying, yes, this is the best game ever just because we just played it, but thankfully they didn't, and I'm glad to see God of War got some recognition. Oh, and speaking of God of War, Damn, it was really cool to see Kratos and the boy come out and speak giving the award. That was a trip when they opened their mouth. And the Game Award goes to... Read it, boy. Outside of that, though, it was pretty boring, very run-of-the-mill, lots of generic advertisements, lots of basic awards, lots of games that kind of won a few awards that were like, great, who cares? Like Fortnite, longest running franchise. Great, who didn't see that coming? Tons of awards that I felt were fairly meaningless in the grand scheme, kind of thrown in there just to add more awards in. And I feel like if they cut down the list of awards, get the meat in there, focus on those and go from there, it would be a much more succinct show, but it's moving in the right direction just very slowly. At this point, it was boring, but it was enjoyable enough to watch the entire thing for the possibility of something surprising us, which didn't. But it is what it is. Those are my thoughts on the Game Awards, but let me know how you guys feel about it in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching, and as always, have a good one. Tonight at the Game Awards, we come together as a community to celebrate video games, the most compelling and immersive form of entertainment in the world. As an industry, we are most powerful when we come together, united by our common love for the art form of games. We join with the viewers and gamers around the globe to celebrate creativity, innovation, and the role that video games play in popular culture.